G'day, welcome back. Yes, I am back from my holidays. And yes, I don't want to be here. I'd rather be on my holidays. But here we are. You don't want to hear about that. You want to hear about more mediocre videos. So here is my first mediocre video for 2025. Today, we're looking at something that's really important when color grading, and that is color management with Rec. 709 footage. So this is a problem you may run into when working with people's footage who haven't told you what it is, et cetera, et cetera. So we have three clips here, and they're all Sony footage uh, or Sony videos, but one of them is Rec. 709 footage. So this is a problem that can occur when working with multiple footage, like I said before. As we would always do, we would do a color space transform. Now this footage, even though it is all Apple ProRes 422HQ, meaning it is a compressed footage, it's still not super compressed and it doesn't have Rec. 709 baked in. Now one of them does, and you will be able to see which one it is pretty quickly. Now, normally if this was Sony raw footage, we'd go to our settings here and we'd go to camera raw and we'd set it up here. But this is not gonna pick it up because again, this is not raw footage. So let's have a look at our clips here. And we're gonna start off with this good looking clip here. We're also gonna talk about once you've set up your Rec. 709 footage properly, how to work in a wider color space and why that is important. In our first note here for our IDT, we're gonna to go to effects, color space transform, input color space, we're gonna to go to Sony and we're gonna do, let's say Sony S Gamut 3 Cine. Input Gamma, S Log 3. Now output color space, we wanna work in a wider color space. We don't wanna work in Rec. 709. So we're gonna set that for DaVinci Wide Gamut. Now you can use RE Wide Space if you like. I believe it's called RE Wide Gamut, but I prefer to work in DaVinci Wide Gamut. You can also work in Aces, but for this video here, we're gonna work in DaVinci Wide Gamut. Now output Gamma, Obviously, we're gonna work in DaVinci Intermediate because these two hang out, they're good friends. We're gonna put this tone wrapping method to none. Now, what I'm gonna do here is very simple. I'm gonna copy this note across by pressing Control C on the Windows. And for my output device transfer, I'm just gonna paste it on. Then I'm gonna swap them over. Now, output color space, Rec. 709, this is for delivery. Now, because this is going to the web and it's not going to a movie theater, we wanna be in Gamma 2.2. Now, use Gamma 2.2 for web stuff or like a laptop type of thing. If you have a proper color graded monitor like I do, and you're gonna watch it, you do Gamma 2.4 if it's just for you. But other people, Gamma 2.2 is generally good. For our tone mapping method, we wanna to go to luminance mapping, click this, use custom max input. Now I've never said all this stuff a million times before, but the more times you do it, the more easy it is each time. Now let's crank that bad boy up, use custom max output, leave as is, Gamut mapping method, saturation, compression. This clip looks absolutely fine. We don't have any problems. You know, we don't have any crushed blacks. We don't have any crazy colors. So that means that this footage does not have Rec. 709 baked in. I mean, it looks pretty flat beforehand. So, I mean, that's a, probably a pretty good indicator that it's set up properly. Now let's do another clip here. This woman going for a run in the city in high heels. That is a lot of work. So I'm not sure why she's doing that. Not that I wear high heels, not that you know I wear high heels. So let's copy this uh, grade across here by pressing right mouse click button, middle mouse button, sorry. Looking at this footage here, we can also see that we don't have a problem whatsoever. The footage looks really nice. The image itself is really nice. It's really blurry. I'm not sure how they did that. It looks quite strange. Um, yeah, all looks great. We again, we don't have any crushed blacks. We don't have any crazy colors. All looks very nice. Okay, so the process of elimination, obviously this is our last clip here. So this must be the Rec. 709 clip. So let's copy across the grade, which will copy across those color space transforms. Clicking our button here. And as you can see, this image looks absolutely awful. We have really crushed blacks, really weird looking colors. It's actually out of the scope. We'll put this on single screen. So if you look at our vector scope here, those reds are actually pushing up way out of the scope. So we need to fix that. So we're not gonna fix it by bringing our saturation down because that's just gonna look god awful. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up properly with a color space transform that works with Rec. 709 footage. How do we do this and why do we do this? Well, for one is we always wanna be working in a wider color space because it's giving us more range when it comes to our color grading. Instead of having our colors compressed, working in a tighter color space, working in a wider color space like DaVinci White Gamut or RE Log C or Aces, we have more space to move when it comes to our saturation, our luminix, et cetera, et cetera. It just makes it a lot 
easier. It's really simple to do. We have to look at the fact that if we're using LUTs that are built for DaVinci Wide Gamut or ACES, etc., they're not going to behave in the same way as they would if you're working in DaVinci Wide Gamut. So let's just turn these two off. Now, this footage at the moment is in Rec. 709. So if I were to put some LUTs on, and let's say I'm gonna work with a LUT that I've designed that works for DaVinci Wide Gamut, this one here. Now it still looks quite nice, but it's not the exact way the LUT should be working with our footage here. So we'll save this still. And once we put DaVinci Wide Gamut on with our Color Space Transform, it's not a massive difference, but it still is enough difference to know that that LUT isn't working the way I actually want it to work. So let's go back to our first Color Space Transform and we're gonna turn this one on. And our footage still looks horrible. That's because again, this isn't set up our little node here. So with our first node here in our input color space, we're working in Rec. 709 footage. Now, because we're going to Gamma 2.2, we want our gamma input Gamma to be 2.2. With our DaVinci Wide Gamut, that's fine. DaVinci Intermediate, that's fine. Everything else is fine. So now our footage is working in the proper color space. So if I turn all these nodes off, that's our Rec. 709 footage. And then that is our properly set up footage. Oh, with the LUT chilling out. Everything now is better because we're working in a wider color space. So now we have more room to play around with our footage. So let's turn that LUT on and then let's get that still from before. So this is our footage here with that LUT on with our color space transform. So we're no longer working in Rec. 709 footage. We are working in that DaVinci Wide Gamut. And as you can see, it looks really nice. Now let's go back to our other footage, the Rec. 709 with that LUT. And looking at our highlights here, we are really pushed up when it comes to that exposure. Yeah, looking a little bit wonky, we are actually more saturated and everything is sitting in a place that's not horrible. It still looks pretty good, but it's not the way that LUT should be working. We should be softening those highlights a fair bit and just toning down everything in this image. Then we'd go back and we'd do our secondary grades, well, primary grades, I guess, contrast, saturation. I think this contrast is actually really fine with this footage here. Then we could go along and we could do any LUT that we wanted to do to make it look really nice or to make it look like a horror film. So let's say we'll do something that's more depressing, something like this, maybe even something like this. So there's a lot of things that you can do and that is because we're working with footage that is set up properly to be working with, well, that looks like a nice horror film, to be working with, you know, DaVinci Wide Gamut. Lots of things that you can do. Now for this year, I really want people to comment more and explain what they would like to see or anything they don't understand with Resolve. I'm more than happy to have a look and we can solve lots of problems when it comes to Resolve. This year, I'm going to concentrate more on the uh, technical stuff with Resolve. I'm doing a lot of studying to get even well, to get better at it. I was going to say even better, but that sounds a little bit uh, hubris. Let's work together and get really good at Resolve and make some amazing stuff. A lot of stuff is happening this year. I may be moving, I'm not sure yet, to a different country, but um, we will see. Also, hopefully should be shooting a feature film and a whole bunch of other stuff. I want to be shooting some more stuff for you guys. So hopefully you can all stick along stick around and we can make some cool stuff together. Now, if we were to put this, this looks really wonky. So yeah, it should be a pretty exciting year. Let me know what y'all want to see and we can do some pretty cool stuff. I think that's about it. Uh, my trip was amazing. I hiked through the Himalayas. It was incredible. I really enjoyed it. I would highly recommend doing it. It was fantastic. And again, I wish I was back there, but unfortunately I'm back in Melbourne, which I'm quite tired of. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. It is a very hot day in Melbourne at the moment and I have no air conditioning. Thank you very much. I hope you had a fantastic New Year's, Christmas, all that type of stuff. Make sure to comment. Let me know what you want to see and hope you have a fantastic day. If you don't understand this video, please comment below. It is really important to know color space transform and color management, especially when it comes to Rec. 709 footage. Hope you have a fantastic day. I have been Drew from Haiti Films and thanks for watching and that's about it really. Have a great day.